my name is Ivana in case we haven't met before last year I spent a month in Thailand and since one of my close friends is going to Thailand this fall I was thinking wow I was giving her so many recommendations why don't I just make a video about it so without further ado these are my 11 must do's when you go to Thailand I'm gonna start out with number 11 you seriously have to ride a motorbike. I wouldn't do it in Bangkok because I think that's a little bit too scary. But if you're near the beaches, like for instance, uh, Ao Nang where I was, just rent a motorbike and drive around. It is such a fun experience. Number 10, a cooking workshop with Sammy. So Sammy has a cooking school near Chiang Mai. You can just Google, it's on TripAdvisor as well. It is a total must do because I know you will have the time of your life with Sammy and eat some really damn good Thai food. Number nine, not something typical Thai, but I think it's definitely worth your time and money. So there's this restaurant called Inor on Riley. It's an island nearby Ao Nang and Krabi Town. It is the best Indian food I have tasted. Seriously, I haven't found this good Indian food even in India. So if you're going to Riley, make sure to eat at Koh Noor. Number eight, a bike tour in Bangkok. So you will definitely not be able to find the places where they take you during this bike tour. I did a bike tour with Ko van Kessel for the Dutch experience because he's a Dutch guy who moved to Bangkok. But of course you can choose any other company to do it with. Number seven is again a food experience. So there's this green fruit so it's either green papaya or green mango I'm not sure and they serve it with a spicy sauce it is so delicious you have to like spicy food though but it was truly mind-blowing and I've never tasted anything like this I also haven't found it anywhere else except in Thailand so make sure to try it out speaking of where to find this number six the Chiang Mai local market so the tourist market is quite easy to find it's also quite big it's it's really hard to miss that one but the local market is a little bit harder to find I think it's a little bit more up north but it's totally worth the cultural experience because there are mostly locals there and you will definitely feel like you're in Thailand instead of just touristy Thailand. Also in Chiang Mai, number five, have a massage with the local female prisoners. So this may sound a little bit strange, but these women, they are sentenced for usually for some minor crimes and I'm not sure. No, no, they're, they're for sure no murderers or anything. It's like stealing and stuff like that. So they are preparing them to go back into society. And in order to do that, they are learning to massage people. So it's basically a donation to a good cause because you are helping these women and supporting them. And you get a massage out of it. Awesome. Number four is one of the sole reasons I need to go back to Thailand. Mango and sticky rice. Seriously, it may not sound special, that's why it took me so long to try it because mango, rice, nah, nah, what would be so special about it? Don't ask, just try. It is freaking delicious and mind-blowing. I will go back to Thailand and have mango and sticky rice again. Number three, the thing I've been raving about to my friend is go to a fortune teller in Bangkok. So there's this talisman market nearby the university. I will put a map over this so you can see a little bit what area it is. This woman, she had me crying within five minutes. It was truly, I'm not gonna say a life-changing experience, but she really opened up my eyes to things that I wasn't seeing myself and that were holding me back. It is also fun to do if you don't believe in fortune tellers because fortune tellers are a big part of Thai culture. People go to these fortune tellers to let them predict the best date for a wedding day or when they are going to have children and stuff like that. So even if you don't believe in these fortune tellers, it is still a fun Thai cultural experience. Number two is gonna sound so cheesy, but in the end I thought it was totally worth it. Go to the beach, yes, the beach where Leonardo DiCaprio filmed the movie, The Beach. It is super touristy, there are so many people it's not really romantic but it's such a beautiful beach and I don't know I thought I really thought it was worth the experience number one was a truly magical moment I already described it in my Dutch video about my top 10 travel moments it's the elephant nature park nearby Chiang Mai they don't let you ride the elephants it's really an elephant sanctuary so the elephants are the kings and queens over there they treat the animals so well and it was just so magical feeding an elephant and touching them ah 
I can I can not recommend you this enough you need to do it if you're in Thailand I hope this video was helpful if it was put a thumbs up and I can make these kind of recommendations for other countries as well I've been all over Asia so it would be my pleasure to recommend you more things if you want to travel along with me you can click that subscribe button because then I will take you with me in the travel vlogs thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye